that probably we were seeing yesterday when we were coming guys this big palm right here this is called kuhun palm and also the leaves are used for roof touching mm -hmm. but you have to split them in half but a lot of locals don't like to use this kuhun palm because you can only have a roof for probably seven years and then so every seven years you need to be changing uh, but people try to use the other one because 20 years is a lot right mm -hmm. also if you look lower there's a bunch of fruits do you see that nuts like lower on that same oh, yeah. tree mm -hmm. and then people harvest that they need two stones to get to the inside kernel the inside it has the size of a nutmeg mm -hmm. that contains 85 percent oil which people use for cooking oil oh, okay. also the endocarp or the shell is so hard that during world war ii belize was exporting a lot of these cuckoo nuts to england because they were being used in bulletproof vests so oh. Oh, we wow. did our part <laughs> National tree of Belize, the mahogany tree. Right. So we still have a few left. <laughs> um, thanks to the British, they're the ones that came and exploited our forest for mahogany. Right. But you know, because this is a very slow growing tree, you need to wait 60 years before you can harvest one. This is around 35, 40 years old. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here, uh, I've been told that in your country there are cycles of 7, 13, and 17 years. Mm -hmm. Correct. Here we have them every day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the trees. See, the, those are the exoskeletons of cicadas. Oh, I was yeah. going to say, there's one right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they, like in uh, Costa Rica, The when they come out of the ground, like greenish, yeah. pretty color? That's mm -hmm. right. When we, uh, when I was in Costa Rica, we actually got to see one in, on a night tour, right as he was crawling up to shed. But I don't know if it will survive because there are ants already. Uh, so that's What kind of spiders live in these rocks? Little orb weavers. Just orb weavers? Um, okay. Wolf spiders. Okay. <sighs> what do you think, Tanya? It's gorgeous. Do you remember your Stalag first Stalactites and stalagmites are the ones from the bottom. And when they grow into each other, they're considered a column. Excellent. I grew up. I grew up doing uh, Carlsbad caverns. <laughs> um, yeah, I love caves. I love yeah. caves. So, are the pools in here uh, dangerous? Current no, here because um, this is just like a tunnel. Okay. It comes out. You know, this just. You know how they say that water follows the path of least resistance mm -hmm. and this is what happened. 
Okay. So guys, um, 60% of Belize's land soils are calcium carbonate or limestone. That's why we know of about 300 caves that we have here in Belize. And out of that number, Rio Frio Cave, this one here, has the largest entrance, over 65 feet in diameter. When you go to ATM Cave, the entrance is very small compared to this one. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. But inside it opens, just like this one. Okay. And um, if we go back, ancient Maya believed that caves were portals to the underworld, that they call Shibalba. And um, the Maya believe in nine layers of underworld and 13 layers of heaven. And everywhere you go in Belize and Guatemala, wherever you find a cave, you will find Mayan activity. Because mm -hmm. they use the caves to do ceremonies. Sometimes incense burning, mm -hmm. agricultural rituals, and also sacrifices, human sacrifices. In this cave, they only discover uh, pottery shards mm -hmm. and uh, because Maya believed that everything had a soul. So uh, after the ceremony, they would smash the vessels to release the soul. Mm -hmm. But like at ATM, they discovered 18 human remains. Mm -hmm. uh, Barton Creek Cave, they discovered 30 human remains. So, but in this one, they haven't discovered or they didn't find any, probably because why this cave seasonally floods? And so maybe um, if there was something, it has been washed away. Okay. All right? <laughs> Turning for the master. We even have our Sandy Bay. <laughs> oh dear. Somebody lost a water bottle. Mm -hmm. So when it's the month of September and October, we don't have a Sandy Bay, Joe, because mm -hmm. the water level can reach up there, see? Right. So it covers all those caves yeah. in there? Uh-huh. And one of the things with this cave, guys, is that this cave is no longer growing or expanding mm -hmm. because this rock here is not granite. All of this stuff, it, well, it's granite, I should say. Mm -hmm. It's not limestone. Right? Okay. A limestone is porous to water. And then in the year 2009, near 26, 200 miles away from here, there was a tremor in the coast of Honduras. And we felt it very strong here. And that's what it did up there, okay? So we don't want no more tremors, <laughs> all right? Has, is there any exploration of those up there? I'm sorry? Is there any exploration of those caves up there? Well, these are not big caves. They just go like where there was some stones and they had fallen. Okay, also, all right. Also, um, like when you go to ATM, you cannot see much here, but there are some very, what we call bionic holes mm -hmm. made by bats. Okay. Because you know bats always spread upside down yeah, and yeah. when they pee and poop there, there's an acidic reaction and that's how it's created. But okay. here you cannot see. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you had a question. The, that back there, does it go very far? No, or is see, it a just there, see? Okay, yeah. alright. This this cave is very unique because it's you can see the other side. That's why I even not even mentioned to you to bring a light. Yeah? Mm-hmm. 
Also, um, in the uh, right now we consider it, um, you know, hot times for the leaves. But like when it's colder here, especially in the month of November to January, we have a big colony of bats here, fruit eating and insect eating bats. Mm -hmm. But in the coast um, area of Belize, we have the largest bat, you know, with a wingspan of two feet. But it's a fishing bat. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, so here in, in on some other caves you can find um, what we call vampire bats. At Hidden Valley, guys, we also do um, summer camp for kids. And three years ago, I'm, I'm in charge of those too, so <laughs> I went out. And uh, I was here with these kids and they're like, I was telling them about the different formations that the Maya sometimes change, alter, and just to show something. And uh, one of the guys said, Mr. Friend, I found a new face in here. And I said, yeah, I said, use this. And then he showed me. So what I will show you is something of like a person, mm -hmm. but uh, for Mayan ancestry, facing down like that, all right? So okay. follow my pointer. Forehead, right? Mm -hmm. Eye, nose, mouth, beard, cheek, and ears. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. see it, Joe? No. Do it again. Yes. All right. Forehead there, eye, nose, mouth, beards. But he's looking down like that, see? Yeah. Face is looking down like that. Oh, okay, yeah. And um, I was so excited as I took pictures. Just turn it up. <laughs> yeah. Forehead, eye. Yeah. Nose, mouth, chin, beards, and cheek, and ears. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, I sent these pictures to some of my friends that are archaeologists and they are into the ethnography of the mind. Mm -hmm. And he wrote back and he said, Fred, right, the end of the year I'll be in Belize and I want you to take me there. So he's bringing all his gear with special lights and stuff like that oh, wow. to see if that is a natural formation or if the you know something was is that one right there that one yeah i don't know like the head sticking out i know thing. right <laughs> it's like sticking out right yep so these are some of the things that you get to see when you're in a place you know like the atm you have a few that they will show you i won't spoil mm -hmm. it for you that one looks like a nose and a chin too this one? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then somebody said they even can see the face of a gorilla in here. Over there. Okay. I don't know. Our eyes are different. This is a little top that they have, but it's like. I could, I could, I could see oh, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? You see? I wouldn't say gorilla, but maybe like a spider monkey face. Yeah, something like that. So there's our eyes can see a lot. Something like clouds, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you guys want to walk on our sandy bay, we can do that, and then we head out. Okay. Yeah, why not? And if, but we will go to a different way. I was going to say, I do, please don't make me go that no, way. <laughs> no. yeah, that's and good. then, please guys, if at any time you guys need a picture of both of you, I can also do that. Oh, cool. My yeah. side thing is also photography. Nice. Right. <laughs> But you know how to restart the video. 